All right, so if you wanna know where to catch catfish in Lake Havasu, then this is the video for you. We're also gonna be releasing another video for the striper fishing report, but like I said, in this video, we're just gonna break down how to catch the catfish. So, uh, like I said, it's just free fishing advice. That's all we're here for. So, if uh, you're interested in like finding certain spots, I there's a couple spots that I have fished for catfish in the past, but there's only one spot we chose to go uh, just last weekend. And that was near the Bill Williams River where it enters into uh, Lake Havasu. There's a couple of coves, like not like right as the river enters in, but like a couple of coves over where there's still a little bit of current because you can see all the lines move in one direction even when there's no wind. Uh, so we know that there's a tiny bit of current um, and we like that. We think that the catfish can smell the baits a lot further away and we think that it works, it's a little bit more successful. Again, in case you haven't seen our Lake Mead video, when I look for a catfishing spot from a boat, I look for a sandy bottom and about 20 to 25 feet of water. And then I cast my rods uh, a little bit shallow. I try to cast two a little bit shallower. So anything less than 25 feet to down to like 15 feet. And then a couple deeper, nothing less than 20 feet all the way out to maybe about 30 feet. And I try to get a, a variety of depths in there. And then I try to chum uh, corn and anchovies is what we chummed. Uh, usually I prefer not to bring anchovies on the boat, but we were fishing with, for striper anyway. So after dinner, we just kind of chopped up the extra anchovies that were left over and tossed them overboard and that was successful. We did find catfish that we caught with anchovies in their belly and corn. So they were eating all of our chum. Uh, as far as bait goes, uh, we like I said, we like to just use whatever we're eating, mainly because we usually just eat bigger food. So anything that's greasy, that's going to carry smell a long distance away is going to be successful. So hot dogs are a great example of something that's pretty easy uh, to cut up into like little bite sized pieces for the catfish and stick them on a hook. Uh, but use whatever you like. If you like using stink bait, absolutely use it. It's definitely gonna work. It'll probably work better than what we use. Honestly, like I said, we're just a little bit picky about what we bring on our boat. And most of the time, uh, we just prefer not to have um, anything smelly or stinky on the boat. So just a personal preference. And then locations. So you can go all over the lake. Uh, like I said, we were near the Bill Williams River, but you can find coves near the where the Colorado River inlets, and I'm sure there's some successful spots out there. Like I said, just look out for those drop-offs. If you're near shore or you're going to be beached anywhere, uh, anywhere near the main island where there's a lot of beaches that go into some drop-offs, anywhere where it drops off within about you know, to about 20 feet deep within casting distance uh, is going to be something that you'll find successful. So um, really don't be picky out there. There's big fish everywhere. Um, they're abundant. You might have to weed through a couple of small fish in order to get to some big ones because we found that the smaller ones bite first and the bigger ones come a little bit later. Uh, but that's just kind of how catfishing goes. The big ones usually, you know, you catch less of them, you catch them a little bit later, but eventually they do come around. And they're an underutilized resource in Lake Havasu, so they are abundant. So that's why we don't think that the spot matters too much other than the conditions of the spot. Like I said, we like flat sandy bottoms um, that are near drop-offs um, and about 20 to 25 feet of water. So anyway, if you're fishing Havasu, I wish you the best of luck. And if you want to catch some stripers, make sure you check out our next video. Thanks. Bye.